this demo is around Slack automations for your hiring, as well as your onboarding and provisioning processes. So I'm gonna dive into that right now. So in Slack, I'm just gonna start this hiring process. So let's say you're going to start hiring this person, David. This creates a channel in Slack around hiring David, and it's gonna pull in all of the information from everyone who's interviewed David and has put in that information into your ATS system. So it's gonna show you all the comments from people who've interviewed him, whether their verdict is yes or no. So you can see that here. Now, based on this and your own interviews, you decide, you know, you want to hire him or not. In this case, you're hiring him. So within Slack itself, you're going to say create offer. And as you can see, it's giving you a, a guide as to kind of uh, what is going to be in that offer that goes out. So let's say you choose a salary for him. You assign some stock options. Um, you put in a start date of November 1st. This is when he's starting. You add a comment in there, board, and you click submit. Now you can review these details before you send the offer. So you look through these details. If you're good with it, you decide to send the offer out. So you click on send. Now this is going to generate an offer in DocuSign and automatically send this off to David. So Slack just sent you a confirmation that this offer has been sent to David. Um, and David will be reminded in two days, does he not sign it? But in this case, David's gonna sign it immediately. So we are gonna go into David's email for a moment. And here you can see that David has received an offer. So let's go in, let's review the document. And in this case, I'm being David and I am gonna go and sign. So I'm the hiring manager for him. Um, all right, finish. Okay, so now this has been signed, you know, he's accepted the offer. Let's come back to our Slack channel, which is where you're living this whole time. So we're gonna give it a couple of minutes and you should get an alert saying David has, been, has offered, um, no, accepted the offer. Uh, now, in the meantime, you will realize the whole time you never actually had to go into any of these systems. You didn't have to go into your ATS system. You didn't have to go into your HR system. You didn't have to go into DocuSign. The offer has been sent. Um, and now you can see that David has signed the offer and this has been automatically uploaded into your HR system. So in this case, it's Workday. Now, you know, we're gonna go through onboarding process. So it's asking you and prompting you to onboard him. So I am gonna click on onboarding. So in your scenario, in this scenario, this is where some of the applications are gonna be automatically assigned because, you know, in a certain company, maybe everyone gets access to these, but you can customize this to your requirements. Once that is done, maybe, you know, there's um, other specific apps that you want this particular employee to have. So let's say, you know, you want him to have access to um, GitHub or Workato. Uh, and I will say submit. So now it's giving you an alert that the following apps will be provisioned for David on the morning of his first day. So I can confirm applications. Perfect, so that's done.